Well, uh, I would say that the first thing is that uh, I feel uh, impressed by the uh, responsibilities on one hand that I've been uh, given and also by the confidence and trust that have been uh, put on me. Uh, I am also fully aware that this is a, a period of uh, increased uh, challenges. Uh, Kosovo, to some extent, has reached uh, some kind of a turning point and uh, I'm fully aware that uh, being head of the mission will be a, definitely a challenge for, for all of us. Well, for the time being, I think as a new head of mission, uh, it's true that uh, being already familiar with the place, uh, with most of the um, actors, being uh, local actors or international actors, it's clear that for me, at least in the first weeks of my uh, tenure, um, the most important challenge will be uh, to understand and better know the mission itself and, and the mission members. So my intent is really to dedicate my uh, energy, my time, my availability to, uh, to the mission and to the people uh, who work within the mission. Well, I think that, um, as I said, I probably need to, to dig a little bit more into the missions to clearly understand uh, who is doing what and, and how. Um, my feeling is that um, between the three uh, pillars or the three components of the, of the mission, uh, i.e. Uh, justice, uh, police and, and um, customs, my initial uh, efforts will, um, will uh, focus on the uh, coordination and, and, and try to make the mission run a little bit like an engine where every part is working for the same purpose. Well, I think I've been quite lucky uh, to hand over the mission from um, first a good friend of mine, a friend of many decades now. Uh, and I'm also very grateful for the fact that not only he gave me a very well established mission as of today, but also he did it in a very uh, confident and open manner. And I think this is uh, promising for the future. Thank you.